Hello. Good morning, friends. God. Woo, he's amazing. We got faith, right? We got faith. That's why we. Come on, up. He woke us up. Let's have faith in him every single day of our lives, guys. Every single day of our lives. Let's praise the Lord this morning. Again, as I do every single day of my life, I try my best. I have been for a long time. God's amazing. Now, please pray as I got a, I got a physical today. I'm, you know, so I'm back here at my dad's house. I'm here physical Honda, but I don't it's tempted to hire a Honda, but I'm still praying for that full-time position at Mercedes, a direct hire. Y'all please pray with me on that one, but this may be, maybe this will be pushing them to go ahead and, go ahead and hire me before I get hired by Honda, but it takes like 17 months to get hired on, attempt to hire a Honda, so please pray that I made the right decision by coming up here and doing this physical, but I need, I can't live on a diploma, you know what I mean, but I can't, because I can't be, Unless the union gets to be to work soon, but I'm still going to, I'm still going to pick the full time career over, over that. But still, we gotta. I've been trying to get a full time career for 20 years, but if Mercedes, please pray for Mercedes. That's where I parked my camper right there, five miles from Mercedes, and I drove past the uh, the battery plant last night, or the night before last, before I got, before I got pizza. Well, yeah, it was last night before I went up when I got some pizza. And there was a battery plant right there, amen. Not not 10 miles from uh, from from the camper. But the uh, Mercedes is about five miles. Please, y'all, please pray. You know, let's go to Leviticus this morning. Leviticus 7. Leviticus 7. I need full time employment. And I hope I. I hope I get past this physical today and build build a bit of Honda until until the full time employment happens. But uh, God's got I ain't gonna lie to nobody. God's got a plan for everything. I ain't gonna say I'm not working a Honda because that's what maybe that'll help me get on there sooner. You know. But we're gonna go to Leviticus seven. You know, please turn to Leviticus seven, first Paul. Praise the Lord. 737 through 38. Uh, 37 through 38, right here, where it states, where the Bible says, This is the law of the burnt offering, of the meat offering, and of the sin offering, and of the trespass offering, and of the consecrations, and of the sacrifice of the peace offerings, which the Lord commanded Moses in Mount Sinai in the day that he commanded the children of Israel to offer their oblations unto the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai. So the Lord commands us, the Lord commands us to offer to him. See, did you hear that part? Which the Lord commanded Moses in the Mount of he commands, he commands. This is the law of the burnt offering, of the meat offering, and the sin offering, and of the trespass offering, and, uh, trespass offering, and of the consecration and of the sacrifice of the peace offerings, and the sacrifice of all the offerings. We have sacrifice. The Lord commands us. You know, please pray with me. Lord, Lord Jesus, help us all to surrender our life to you, Lord, and not be trying to live on our own, not be trying to make it on this in this ungodly, simple, temporary world without you, Lord, because we can we, we can make a hundred years and opening up doors for ladies and doing and having all the money in the world, but then we can still go straight to hell, Lord. Help us, Jesus, to seek you and get saved by your grace through faith, Lord, because why we're not that saying that we must be born again. We you must be born again. Help us, Jesus. Help us understand that in Ephesians two, eight through nine, and John three, seven, Acts four, twelve. Here I'm about to mention, Lord, because you're so awesome and amazing. Please help us all, guys. All great, great to help the boys whatever they put on doing today. Help our relationship, Jesus. I sure miss them. They let them know that I'm I'm representing you, Lord. I'm here for you. I'm, I'm being strong and bold and being being courageous. Let people know about you, Lord, because you are the answer. Please, please help my kids understand that, Lord. Help them not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and help them not whosoever shall live a godly life of Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Help them understand that they need to stand strong in Christ, because it's going to be this way the rest of their life, Lord. The rest of all of our lives. Persecution's coming, Lord. They're going to try to take all our Bibles away here in America, Lord. Oh, well, we got to stand strong in faith, Lord. Help us, Jesus. God, us all, direct us all, Lord. Please, heaven, this morning as I preach, in your name we pray. 
Hey, Amen, excuse me. I thought I blow my nose earlier, but... I'm trying to... Pause one second. So, so sorry about that. I, I, was, I tuned in on the morning nose blow for my uh, my pastor for my pastor uh, pastor Mike Andrews. <laughs> he said I did that just for you, Joey. <laughs> yeah, but let's go. We have a plan for everything. The Lord commands. Remember that, guys. Again, let's get let's give thanks for it. Let's give thanks for it. It is His will. It is His will. He commands us. As all the mob here, He commands us to offer our lives to Him. First Thessalonians. Tim, please turn to First Thessalonians. We're in First Thessalonians. Proverbs and Psalms this morning. We're we'll in Psalms this morning. First Thessalonians. Early in the morning. Praise the Lord. We want to praise His name every day. So our lives, guys. Every day of our lives. First, first, this one is five eighteen. And everything, because we need to give thanks. Let's give thanks for it. It is His will. And everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. I'm turning to you, Paul. One more second. Give it down there, gotta give me a little go go juice. Oh, Jeffro, he can write a lot of dude on it. Oh, Jeffro, Miss Willa, Miss Willa is in there, one of my little characters I used to have for my boys. Back in the day. <laughs> Important that, sir, he's a funny, funny guy. Okay, we need to uh, give thanks every single day of our life. And everything, give thanks for this, the will of God in Christ Jesus. Concerning you, concerning all of us, we need to give thanks to the Lord. Because, uh, because <clears throat> we need to pray. Well, folks, pray. Pray. I see that as the only way. The only way you talk to Jesus, right? It's through prayer. We need to pray, folks, pray. That is the only way. We need to pray without ceasing. And guess what we need to do while we're doing it? We need to rejoice. Woohoo, rejoice. Every more we have salvation that's free, we need to accept it today, if not already. Guys and gals, let's say thanks. Always remember in Proverbs 15, 2 and 9. And please turn there with me. Give thanks and always remember in Proverbs 15, 2. We need to always remember these, the scripture here because we need to be, we need to live with Jesus because the tongue of the wise uses knowledge of right, but the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. You hear that? The tongue of the wise, excuse me, the tongue of the wise uses, uses knowledge aright, but the mouth of the fools pours out foolishness. All right, guys, right here, number nine, number nine. It says, the way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. Are you following after righteousness? Are you reading the word every day? Are you get, Are you digging in and trying not to sin? We need to read it, learn it, love it, live it, and share. I'll read the verses one more time. 15.2. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge of right, but the mouth, but the, but the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. Do we need to talk? Do we need to talk all this foolishness in this world, or we need to talk about the truth? Let's go ye into all the world and preach the gospel for every creature, as I do here online. Me and are watching sometimes, but not right now. God's got a plan, though. He's got a plan. Now we're gonna go to uh, number nine right here. Which is the ways of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord. Are we, going to be, are we going to live a wicked life and be an abomination to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which is the way, the truth, and the life? No man cometh unto the Father but by me, as he says in John fourteen six. The way of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the, he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. Are you following after righteousness? We need to read it, learn it, love it, live it, and share it. We need to dig in, try not to sin. This is righteousness. King James Bible, this is our way of life. We need to follow it. 
daily, guys. So we'll give thanks continually. We're going to be in Psalms. Psalms 106, 107, 118. Psalms. Psalms right before Proverbs. 106. Because we need to give thanks daily, guys. Praise ye the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy. Woohoo, his mercy endureth forever. Now, 107, 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Now, 118. 118. 118, 1. So, oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy, who his mercy endureth forever. Now, I'm going to write down 29. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. I was in the Bible four times, guys. But we need to give thanks. We need to give thanks every single day of our lives, guys. Every single day of our lives. That's that's right. We need to follow the correct chain of command. We need to follow Jesus. We need to be trying to. So let's let's trust. Let's trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. As it says in Proverbs 3, 5 through 7. So are we following the right chain of command? Are we following? We need to follow God first before anything. We need to follow God before our president. We need to follow God before our mayor. We need to follow God before even our parents, guys. Okay? Yeah, please pray. Please follow, follow, follow the correct chain of command. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. We're going to go to Psalms. Psalms 56. We're out here. Psalms, Psalms 56, 3, 3 through 4. Psalms 56, 3 through 4. What time I am afraid. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. I, in God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I not. I will not fear what, what flesh what flesh can do unto me. The spirit indeed is willing with the flesh. The flesh is weak. We need to follow after Jesus. So here it says, What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. As I just mentioned, trust in the Lord with all thy heart, lead not unto thy own understanding. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear what, what flesh can do unto me. Because now we're going to go back to Psalms 118. 118 because as us Christians we're gonna be are we gonna be thrown in jail do you know Paul Paul was thrown in jail that's where that's where the Holy Spirit was talking to him and he wrote the Bible most, most of the Bible most of the books of the Bible God is amazing guys God is powerful in 118.6 because with the Lord on my side I will not fear what command what 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 command do unto me what command do unto me because it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man, my friend. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. It's, it's better. We need, to, we need to follow our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ every day because it is better to put trust in Him than anything in this world, guys. Than anything in this world because He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, which was and which is and which is to come. The Almighty. He is in control, guys. Yes, yeah, we need to, I'm going to finish from number 14 and 24. Because the Lord, whoo, whoo, the Lord is my strength and my song. And it's become my salvation. Are you, are you saved, my friends? Are you saved, my friends? Well, let's get saved this morning if we're not already. Okay, we're going to go to 20, number 24. Because this is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We, we will rejoice and be glad in it, guys. Are you saved? Let's give thanks this morning. Let's give thanks this morning. For all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. God committed his love towards us. While, he, while we were yet sinners, Christ, he died for us. He was on that cross. He said, it is finished. He bowed his head and gave up his ghost for us. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, whoo -hoo, thou shalt be saved. Is there any of us righteous to get to heaven without Jesus? No, there's none righteous. No, not one. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, my friend. If you believe on the name of the Son of God, you know you have eternal life. If you believe on the name of the Son of God. Amen. I hope you all are saved, guys. Let's give thanks this morning. 
Help us pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for your mercy. Lord, your mercy for your grace. Lord, your mercy for saving us for things that we do deserve, Lord. And your grace for blessing us for things that we do not deserve. Lord, what a blessing we get to spread your word every single day of our life. Lord, what a blessing, Lord, as we take it for granted and think it's just, it was just a bug. We, we got other, no, we need to live by, the, by your word, Lord. The word is made flesh and dwells among us, full of grace and truth. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even unto the dividing son of the soul and the spirit, the joints and the marrow, as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart lord help us all jesus as you say hebrews 4 12 and john 1 1 6 1 16 i think was it lord you're so powerful lord thank you jesus for your word help us all dig in and try not to sin. other boys this morning understand that they that dad's standing up for you lord I, I, we all in this whole entire world need to stand up for you lord you are the answer help us jesus guide us all direct us all what is what, whichever way you want me to go lord whichever job you if this is back in Honda for a little while before Mercedes. Well, please let it be, Lord. Let them, let this be, let this push them to hire me quicker there at Mercedes, Lord. I'm going to park my camper down there in faith, waiting. Please, Jesus, keep us all safe and everything we do, Lord. Play whatever thing go smooth. Let this, let me pass this physical today. That's, that's very important, Lord. Please hope it's back after this hernia. I hope I'm fine now. I feel like I am. I feel like 100% again. Please, guys, all ready to help us sing, Lord, to you every single day of the Lord. For the joy of the Lord is our strength, Lord. Help us make a joyful noise in all, all, in all the world, all ye lands. Help us, Lord. Give us the joyful noise to the Lord, all ye lands, as you say in Psalms 101. Help us, Jesus. Help us all memorize your word. Meditate on it daily and memorize it. Live for the word, not for ourselves. Thank you, Jesus. In your precious holy name, of Jesus Christ, we pray. Help me as I sing, and as we pray, amen. We need to thank him daily, I thank you, Jesus, for the blood, the blood. Thank you, Jesus, you have washed me white. Thank you, Jesus, you have saved my life. Wash me from the darkness into glorious light. Woohoo! Who was that? Just popped in. God bless you this morning. It's early, early, early. Let's sing the song with me. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood of life. Thank you, Jesus, for you have washed me white. So thank you, Jesus, you have saved my life. Who washed me from the darkness into glorious light. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Let's seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face continually, guys. It says in First Chronicles 16, 11. Well, God bless y'all. Thank you for tuning in early this morning. Early with Curly. Y'all have a good day. It's all about Jesus, not about me. Thank you. Bye-bye.